Managing media files can become a challenge as your WordPress website grows. Large media libraries can slow down your website, increase storage costs, and impact performance. Hi, I'm Alex, a senior software engineer with a lot of experience in AWS cloud development. I will show you how to offload your media files to Amazon S3, a reliable, scalable cloud storage service. We will use uh, WP Offload Media Lite plugin. I'll also guide you through setting up an S3 bucket and creating IAM role, attaching the right permissions and adding it to EC2. Lastly, we will configure WP Offload Media Lite plugin using IAM roles. Let's get started. I am in a newly installed WordPress website. If you would like to learn how to do that, please check out our video on how to install WordPress website on AWS EC2. Let's click on plugins and we're going to install a plugin. So we'll click add a new plugin. So let's search for a plugin WP Offload Media Light. Right, we have this plugin right here. We're going to click install now. This plugin is installed and let's click on activate. Let's click on the settings. Right off the bat, uh, we have select provider and this provider is Amazon S3, it is selected for us. It asks us to define key in wp-config.php, um, but we're not gonna do that because we're hosting WordPress site on AWS and we can use IAM roles. So let's go ahead and select that. All we need to do now is to create a role and attach it to the EC2 instance that we're running our WordPress on. So let's go to AWS console. We will go to IAM. And in the IAM, we're going to click on roles and we're going to click on a create role. We're going to keep AWS service right here. And the use case, we're going to select EC2. In the use case EC2, we'll just keep the EC2 as is. Now, then we're going to click next. Now we need to attach permissions and we're going to click on a filter by type and we're going to select customer managed. And we have right here, my blog S3 bucket access. So let's click on it and we're going to expand it to see what we've done here. We have a policy that allows listing of all S3 buckets on all the resources. And then we have another policy that allows all the actions on S3 bucket called myblog.alexrusin.com. And we have this asterisk that allows actions on all the objects in this bucket. We created this policy and this bucket in a WordPress backup video. So to learn how to do it, please check it out. Let's go ahead and click next. Under the role name, we're going to put EC2 web instance role. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to click create role. Our role is created. Let's go to EC2. We're going to go to instances. We have the web server one instance running and that's where our WordPress is on. So let's select the instance, click on the actions, security, and click on modify IAM role. Let's go ahead and choose the role. And there is only a role that available to EC2 is this EC2 web instance role that we created. Let's select that and click update IAM role. Let's go back to WordPress. And now we can click save and continue. We're going to keep use existing bucket selected because we created an S3 bucket and let's uh, click on browse existing uh, buckets. And we got an error right here because it says that list buckets on Amazon S3 cannot be performed because we don't have permission to list all my buckets. Let's go ahead and update permissions in our policy on AWS to include S3 list all my buckets. Let's go to IAM. And in the policies, let's click on my blog S3 bucket access. Let's click edit. We can see the JSON. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put a comma right here and we're going to paste S3 list all my buckets. Click next and click save changes. Let's go ahead and close the warning and let's go back to storage provider. Let's go to the bucket and try browse existing buckets again. And now we can list all the buckets. So we're interested in myblog.alexrusin.com bucket. Let's select that and click save selected bucket. And we're on into another error with a 
get bucket location action. So let's go ahead and copy this, go back to the policy. Let's edit this policy. We can update this policy again and we can put S3 get bucket location. Click next and save changes. And let's go ahead, try again. We'll close that, try to save bucket and everything worked well. In the security step, since we're not using uh, CloudFront for distribution, we will follow the recommendations and keep uh, bucket security as is. In the storage settings, we're going to leave everything as is. And we're also going to click on remove local media to free up storage space, right? So that's basically our purpose. We don't want to save anything on the EC2 instance or in a Docker container, basically. So let's click that. It's going to give us a little warning right here, but we're okay with that. We'll see the URL preview, right? And then we can click save changes. As you can see, we have an issue with the delivery settings right here. So let's click and it says delivery provider status cannot be determined. We can click check again and it's not working. So what we need to do is to go to AWS, find our S3 bucket and we can go to permissions. First, you need to check that block public access is turned off. So you can click edit. And right here, if this is checked, just go ahead and uncheck it. Next thing that you need to do is change the object ownership. Click on edit, uh, click on ACL enabled, check I acknowledge that ACLs will be restored and click save changes. Now let's go back to WordPress and hit check again. And now delivery provider is successfully connected as well as storage provider is connected as well. Let's go ahead and test. We'll go to media. We click on add new media file. We're going to select files and select the file to upload. And our file got uploaded. So if we click on this file right here, you can see that file URL now says as3amazon.aws.com. And we have the bucket right here. We can go back to AWS. We can look at the bucket objects and refresh it. And we can see that we do have WP content uploads and in our upload, we do have the file. WordPress actually generate multiple sizes for the image that we uploaded. And as you can see, uh, those sizes are present in an S3 bucket. Offloading your WordPress media to Amazon S3 using WP Offload Media Lite is an effective way to optimize your website's performance, save server space and enhance reliability. We used IAM role and we attach it to the EC2 instance to allow offload media light to access S3 bucket. If you want to learn more about IAM roles, please check out our video on this topic.